Essence of an artist. Follow your dream. Lauren Ellis. An auto-bio of her art, poetry, and life. A book and documentary. My signature page. Follow your dream. Primal desires of human beings drive us to imagine and create. Economic barriers are non-existent with the creative process. Do not stifle the pioneer attitude. In all fields, it is important to express one's ideas as an individual. The healthy growth of a civilization depends on a society that supports unlimited free expression to explore all avenues of invention. Ideas blossom when a community encourages independent and collaborative research and education. The world is always changing. Mistakes are miracles. The more mistakes we make brings us closer to discovery. Life is exciting when we fly like a little bird in the wind and grow with the flow of the unknown. Those who are flexible with positive thoughts smile, stay strong, and thrive. Everyone tells you what to do, but no one can tell you how to survive. A dream come true starts with one's belief to keep one's vision alive. Lauren Elizabeth Ellis you realize there is nothing lacking in your life, the world belongs to you. Lao Tzu, Dao Di Ching. You see things as they are, and you say, why? But I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? George Bernard Shaw. What is creativity? Living life. My ideas, I feel, often come through me, not from me. Page 246 to 249. Living life, living in the now, feeds my desire to create. We materialize our invisible stories from our personal reality, impressions, and senses. My ideas, I feel, come through me and not from me. The power of imagination is the size of the universe. Catch an aura rather than the physical. Auras are beautiful with infinite colors and eternal energy. The enthusiastic aura of inquisitiveness surpasses knowledge. When one has enthusiasm, curiosities are sincere and exude a light, shining energy. A glow of positive reinforcement of a unique point of view, contagious to all. Knowledge is based on the continuous changing of conclusions, pieces of studies interpreted to custom fit a direction or theory. Thus, we celebrate individualism. Enthusiasm is the soul. Knowledge is an ever-changing learning conversation. This chapter exemplifies a few of my adventures and challenges that contribute to my creative growth. Playing violin and tennis, ice skating, studying abroad, drawing the Etruscan sculpture in Florence, Italy, climbing the rocks on the Amalfi Coast, Dancing with my yellow cloth on the Black Sea, coast of Nisebar, gardening, doing architectural landscaping. Whatever we do, we may not know why or how. Experiences influence our creative energy. Learning springboard diving was difficult and very scary to qualify for the swim team. I had to learn five categories of dives. My best friend acted as my coach, reading diving positions from a book. The swim coach said I would have won awards if I had had a trained diving coach. Just qualifying to be on the high school swim team made me happy. I made the twirlers team in seventh grade only because my best friend taught me baton twirling techniques. Cheerleading came easy to me for I love to dance and choreograph. My big dream as a child was to play a dancer in a play and my wish came true. When I found out I won the lead role, I informed my teacher that I had dance experience and would prefer to play the part of the old eccentric dancer, Essie. The play director said, okay. I was so relieved not to have the lead role and have to remember all those lines. My dream came true. I was one of two juniors in a senior play. What inspires me? The experience of all the above, writing or reading a poem, and doing nothing. I used to feel guilty doing nothing, but I realize it is my refueling time. Slowly, one's mind helps to see even deeper into one's subconscious, reaching a deeper level of a creative zone. Life is in constant flux, exploring through our constant, which is change, 
feeds our creative juices. Be comfortable with the unknown. Don't be afraid. The more we go with the flow and observe, the stronger our creativity blossoms. Project and see in your heart and mind what you want, and it will happen. Not knowing when, your wishes happen when they're meant to be. Believe in yourself. Goals are realized by feeling and trusting, not by thinking. Ideas can be scary with too much contemplation. Stay with fresh views. Run, laugh, sing, and chant. Trust your intuition. Feel life energies fuse into beautiful colors. Be sensitive and flexible with a slow, secure momentum of free ephemeral movements, discovering always new possibilities. Materialize in your mind your accomplishments to realize your goal. At the bottom of What is Creativity Living Life page are, are some quotes that work well with this chapter theme. Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off of your goal. Henry Ford Genius is eternal patience. I'm still learning. Michelangelo Enthusiasm, the soul, shines light into the ephemeral concept of knowledge. Lauren Elizabeth A person who has never made a mistake, never tried anything new. Albert Einstein Two poems on page 216. A tree grows in a New York City subway. Run away. Subway in the dark. Through the window there is light. The cars are stark. Empty. It is night. The imagination has sight. Looking out it sees the blue sky bright. Trying to clearly see the buildings is a fight. Underground day and night. The same. New York City. Full of people clutter. Rushing. What a shame. Speeding smoothly, like butter, the veins of the city, pumping people to and fro, constant motion, our universe, go, 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 a tree grows, oh no, quietly through cracks in the cement city, who would know, ah, the graceful leaves blow, the branches sit pretty, a tree grows under New York City, it will be cut down, by some fake law committee, a fat clown frowns, first nature belongs, it will stick around. Another tree will come along strong to our gritty city. What a pity. Why do we sacrifice beauty that brings us life? The tree will survive us. We must have trust. There is light at the end of the tunnel, not just dust. 2020. Angel finds her wings. Did she really lose or need them? Black darkness brings quietness and coolness. Darkness isn't bleak. Darkness is the unknown to many souls. Peace is what we seek. In darkness I can cope. Yin yang, large and small, I peek. Then a sparkle appears with hope. Circles of energy come and go. Near and far, fast and slow. White and black, infinite with glow. You want to put the circles in a sack. The wind makes them flow. The angel finds her wings. Did she lose them? No. The wall she leans. Did she need wings? No. Walls have no real means. There is no boundary or blockage. It's all just what it seems. Go with your dreams. Fly without your wings. Let the light inspire. Fly with the wind that sings. Sunshine desire. Above, below, and beyond. 2020. Three very early poems. Page 220. A Mother's Day card and poem I wrote in fifth grade. I forgot I wrote poetry that young. You are the beauty of nature itself, and as pure as the color gold. To me, you will never grow old, for I love you much more than gold. 1965 Don't synchronize your life. Time passes so quickly, it should be irrelevant. Yet the heart beats with every stroke of the clock. The pulse pumps blood in accordance with the rhythm of time. Expand, contract expand, contract, of the lungs, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, week by week, year by year. Is death the only escape from this trap of never-ending repetition of nothingness? If time were to suddenly change, what would happen to the 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. woodpeckers of the clock? Business corporations to newspaper companies, 
employment offices. Would methodical people be able to survive, or would they die from the strain of being able to live? 1970. Three poems on page 232a, Engulfed by Environment. Living in our capsules, houses, traveling in our capsules, cars, working in our capsules, offices, working by our capsules, clocks, tick-tock, tick-tock. Where does it stop? Just beginning for women? How did it begin? Toss them up. What a sham. Tick-tock, tick-tock. I do feel like a clock. Am I redundant? We're all machines. I didn't think you noticed. Noticed I was redundant. Not that we are expelling steam. Fuel, that is. Machine food. Is it possible to live without the system? Or are we enveloped even outside? Outside by the incomprehensible. Engulfed by the raw environment. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Women, we are the beginning. Are we also the end? Nature, in its raw state? Yes, in social ways. But natural resource crave to be saved. 1976 Continuity. Continuity, the source of life. Where does it lie? It's difficult to find because it's of a certain kind. Don't be so blind. I asked, where am I from? Where do I go? Life, a series of questions. A series, at least. Series equals consistency. Continuous. That's the real world, which many deplore. For a day to day, breath to breath, all is the same. Nothing really to claim, even fame. Nothing in society seems to yield sobriety. Therefore, find every breakfast, lunch, and dinner gratifying. Continuity can be soothing, like a back massage or a kiss in the garage. Count your breaths, not your blessings. Don't fret, it's not over yet, but soon, you bet. 1976. I chose world peace, always in hope. Mural, I feel most humans are sincere. We, the people of the world, are finally united. The matrix of greed. Greed is the evil seed. These slimy people never have enough of what they think they need. Monsters insensitive and tough, evil forever geoengineering, killing healthy seed. Greed must be fed by stealing material stuff, radioactive bio-warfare to make us bleed, caught in the suffocating eternal web of lust. They live in bottomless pits with poison needles. Ongoing pollution from the matrix will not go to dust, never sated, full of contention, pure evil. Their perpetual unhappiness will not easily crush. Senselessly irrational lies, hidden in fake trust, always hiding behind others to blame. They lack total moral code. They do not know the word shame. Horrible primal desires is how they must feed. Destroying life is an important part of their game. Hard for us to believe. In the end, evil has nothing to gain. Now we are aware of this matrix of life. Beware, their vicious dark promises kill like a knife. Greed will not succeed, but will always be here. So sad, as yin and yang is the balance of dark and light, good and bad. Can lazy, jaded humans get off this evil, endless train of greed? Only when we realize we have all we need. Peace. The universal power yet to be revealed. Love, the ultimate light to feel and heal. Only through the good energy of loving, humanity will earn freedom that no one can steal. 2022. 